Good morning, everyone. Your friendly neighborhood potato here, starting off the vlog. It's actually a little bit later in the day, despite my uh, still not put together appearance. I just worked at my computer for the first like three hours of the day. It's almost 11. So I'm gonna head off to the gym, get a workout in, get some Starbucks, and then I'm gonna come home and shower, get ready and everything. And I actually have a super, super fun day planned today. I'm so excited. After I like get ready after the gym and everything, I'm going going to look for a new couch for our living room with Kenzie. And then, tonight, I'm going to a Jonas Brothers concert! I'm so excited. I'm a Jonas Brothers stan, have been, always will be, and I'm excited. So uh, I'm doing kind of like an adulty thing, getting a new couch, and then, and then just letting the inner teenage girl inside of me just go wild at the Jonas Brothers concert. So here is our current couch. It's perfectly fine. It's just getting a little bit old and dirty, and we've had it for a long, long time. This couch was actually pretty much the first like big adult purchase I ever made on my own when I moved into my first apartment before I lived with Steven like just on my own I bought this couch. I think it was like $375 brand new from Jerome's so it's a pretty cheap couch as it is and then we've had it for like six years So we've had it for a while I mean there are plenty of couches that last like 20 plus years But like I said, this was a pretty low-end couch. This is not one of them that's meant to last a lifetime and it's definitely showing some wear and tear. Also, it's just pretty small, so it's hard to entertain. We don't have like too much more room on the couch to go wide, but we can go long, so I think I wanna get a sectional. That'd be really great, but I'm not sure. Kenzie's gonna come with me. She loves furniture shopping. I just measured out like the couch and how much space we have, so I'm bringing my measuring tape just in case they don't have measurements on some of the couches, and I wanna make sure it's gonna fit. <laughs> but first step, gym. I think this one right here is gonna be our couch. We looked at a couple, we uh, measured them out, and I think this one is the best fit. It's definitely gonna fit, but we're gonna have way more room than we used to do. Originally, I was thinking I would just do a chase, which is basically like the built-in ottoman. So like this couch, this isn't the one we're getting, but like this is a chase where you just can put your feet up. But we decided it would be better to do one that had two sides of seating since we have all that room against the wall, but our room like in the middle of the room is what's kind of space limited. So this is gonna be the part that's like with the back towards the stairs. And then they're gonna put this on the other side. So this will be against the wall because we pretty much have unlimited space against that wall. The only thing that we'll have to do is move the bookshelf, but I think this is gonna be it. And then we're gonna do a custom ottoman in the same fabric as the couch. What do you think, Kenz? I'm so excited. I've been for this. <laughs> I've been like waiting for you to get in your couch. I've been trying to convince Steven. And Harlan, who was not sleeping much in yesterday's vlog, is totally knocked out. Look at her. Mm. Ooh, okay, I'm so glad I was able to get my couch. That was such an easy process. Having Kenzie there makes it very, very easy because she loves furniture shopping and she has a very good eye for that kind of thing. So she's able to tell me like, no, I think this color would look better or I think this cheaper option is worth it or I think this extra thing is worth the price. So it's nice just having that extra person to help me with it, especially because Steven, I think literally could not care less. I was texting him about this and he was like, I give you 100% authority to decide on our couch. Just get it cheap option where it doesn't matter if we spill some coffee on it. <laughs> so hopefully he's happy. I sent him a picture and he was like, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> So that should be getting delivered, I think they said in about two weeks. We're having a little get together on Halloween. So ideally, I would love for it to get delivered before that, just so that we have more seating for the people who are coming over. We love to entertain, we love to have little get togethers, but we just don't really have a good seating area because our living room is smaller and we have a small couch. So I'm hoping this will make it a little bit more accommodating. Also, while we were inside doing all the couch stuff, I just I just had two like big brand things go through that involve travel. I guess I guess one of them is a big brand thing and one of them is just like me talking on a panel for YouTube to brands, but it's not really like a brand deal. So the first one I'm not allowed to talk about yet, but I am literally so excited about it. I cannot wait for the day I get to tell you guys, but uh, it involves me going to Austin, Texas in mid-November. And it's actually the shoot for this brand thing is the day after Steven and my trip to <laughs> Disney World in Orlando ends. So I'm just gonna fly straight from Orlando to Austin, Texas. And then the other thing where I'm speaking on a panel for YouTube is in Chicago. And that is a day after the big brand shoot in Austin finishes. So then I'm just gonna fly straight from 
from Austin to Chicago. And then I was gonna extend through the weekend and do a weekend in Chicago since I've never been. And Steven hasn't been either. And he was like, oh, how fun. I'll fly out there too. And we can have like three or four days in Chicago. And then we looked at the calendar and realized that Skylar's baby shower is that Saturday. So definitely can't extend through the weekend <laughs> in Chicago. I will have a day in Chicago. So I'm hoping I'll get to see a show because Chicago has some fantastic theater. And hopefully Steven and I will be able to plan a non-businessy trip back to Chicago someday because I really want to go and I'm really excited and I hope we get to go together someday. It just isn't going to work out for this trip. Ah! so much going on. It's all exciting stuff though. It's all really fun stuff. Like I was telling Kenzie, she was like, are you stressed about like everything you have to do and all this travel? And I was like, honestly, no, like I love it. I'm excited. It's all fun things that I like to do. I absolutely love to travel. And when I get to do it without me having to pay for it, I love it even more because it doesn't make my wallet hurt. So I'm excited. Those things are going to be really, really fun. Also, is it just me or is my hair looking a lot more curly today? I tried something new. So I used to have super curly hair like my entire life growing up. And then it's gotten progressively less curly, or at least I thought it had. But then I was watching some videos of people trying the curly method, the curly girl method. Basically, it's for people who have naturally curly hair, but kind of have always tried to fight it like me and just kind of embracing the curls doing like more deep conditioning not brushing it out so i didn't like fully try the curly girl method but this morning i was like you know what after my shower i'm just gonna brush my hair once when it's wet and then just kind of scrunch it as it air dries and it looks significantly more curly so i'm kind of thinking maybe my curly hair actually didn't go away and maybe it's just been looking straighter since i brush it all the time and don't condition it enough <laughs> so maybe i'll have to try the curly girl method fully let me know down in the comments but i do actually i'm looking at it in the viewfinder I do actually like this more curly look than my normal hair when I don't style it. This has like no styling products in it, just like a little bit of hair oil. And usually if I do that, my hair is like a big poofy puff ball. I did pin the two front pieces up though. So maybe that's why, I don't know, I'm rambling. Let's go get ready for the Jonas Brothers concert. <laughs> look who's here. Yes. It's Haley, a, a favorite of the vlog, but an occasional appearance on the vlog. Uh, yeah, I don't like to spoil. <laughs> So we're going to the Jonas Brothers concert and Haley brought a bottle of champagne for my streamy nomination. I'm proud of you, Schultz. Oh, thank you. You've come a long way. <laughs> Since you used to watch my first videos. Straightening the bangs. You would call it Schultzen. <laughs> I, I, I do it now, I, but I'm just I, I don't straighten my bangs anymore. Thank God. Well, I mean, I do. What I, when I straighten all of my hair, I straighten my bangs. But I used to just leave it all curly and then just straighten the bangs in the beginning. So that was a look. That was, you know what? Maybe that's Looks what got I'm me. I'm not nominated first. <laughs> so clearly, I'm doing something wrong. Maybe you need to straighten your bangs. Obviously. <laughs> should okay. we, should I we think pop this? Let's I'm go outside. I'm afraid to, but let's do it. Hey, vlog. Follow me at Haley May. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You almost got it. Congrats, Schultz. <laughs> Here we go for Schultz. <laughs> You shot it over the fence. Yay. All right, let's get That's some cups. Oh, thank you. I'll just drink this whole thing myself. That's all for you. So Haley was making fun of me because she picked up the yo-yo and tried to yo-yo, and I told her she wasn't doing it right. And then she started laughing at me so hard for yo-yoing that she was like, we have to vlog this. So should I reenact my tutorial for you? Show us the around the world. All right, well, first, we'll keep it simple. I'm walking the dog. Ooh. And then now I'm going halfway around the world. I oh. know I dropped it, but I recovered. Now, do a little bit of this action. The skill. Oh my. Look at that. The technique. The form. The flick of the wrist. Are we ready for the around the world? Do can you think she I do, can it? do it? Can she do it, people? I'm nervous. I know you're making me nervous. Oh my god, I that was beautiful. I didn't get it perfectly, but. Hey. I, I am, in fact, an ex-yo-yo connoisseur. When I was a sad, sad sixth grader, I used to spend my weekends yo-yoing. Now let's see Haley's yo-yo skills. Oh my god. Oh, I think the rope is messed up. <laughs> is I think we've had too much champagne and we've broken the yo-yo. <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> After a long Uber ride, we made it to the Jonas Brothers concert. We're at the merch booth. I need to decide what kind of sick Jonas Brothers merch I want to be decked out in. I feel Whoa. like I would wear the long sleeve yeah. more. Yeah, like, hat that simply says Jonas, Jonas Brothers. Brothers that's a mood. I would, yeah. I would so wear that. But I kind of want one. With 
with their faces on it. <laughs> oh my god, I need a Joe's Brothers pop socket. I want that shirt right there. That is the one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thriving! Yeah! Home Depot parking lot near the home and garden section as our Uber requested. Haley, what do you think? It was so good. You go to a lot of concerts. This is the best one in my life. Really? Does it rank high? Almost as good as Ali and AJ. You did love the Ali and AJ concert. <laughs> That was so good. It was so good. Literally, I mean, for me, like as soon as they sang that little snippet of I Need to Find You yeah. from Camp Rock, I was like, worth the ticket price, hands down. It was like the show was for us specifically. I know, they literally did all the songs we were talking about, even the, even the more obscure ones. Yeah. And they only did, I think they did four songs from their new album, the two really popular ones, then two other ones, and the rest were all throwbacks, perfect. which was literally so perfect. The demographic was like 90% percent women are ages and older and then like a surprising amount though I'd say like 10% like young preteens and I'm like were you even born when the Jonas Brothers were a big thing but like I'm glad you're appreciating the Jonas Brothers fandom as I am as a 23 year old adult woman I loved it I had so much fun and now it's time to go home and get some sleep <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it was kind of a interesting combobulation of things me going couch shopping like like an adult, me <laughs> screaming at the Jonas Brothers concert, also like an adult. Oh man, I think that's Uber. I will see you guys next time. Bye.